Hello, and welcome to History Pod. On the 21st of June 1877, ten Irish immigrants in America were hanged for murder, having been accused of membership of the Molly Maguire's secret society. In the shadow of the Great Famine that devastated Ireland's potato crop from the mid-1840s, millions of Irish families emigrated to the United States. This coincided with the rapid expansion of railroads and industry that required large amounts of fuel, leading to large numbers of the new arrivals settling in the anthracite coal mining region of northeastern Pennsylvania. Wages in the coal fields were low, and working conditions were so poor that hundreds of miners had either died or been badly injured by the time the Civil War acted as a catalyst for violence that saw the murders of mine foremen and superintendents. The tension between mine owners and workers was only worsened by the Panic of 1873 that brought a devastating economic depression. Mine owners believed that a secret society known as the Molly Maguires were behind the violence. In 1873, Franklin Gowan of the Reading Railroad hired the Pinkerton Detective Agency to destroy the Mollies. Irishman James McParland led the two-and-a-half-year investigation using the alias James McKenna to infiltrate the ancient order of Hibernians that was alleged to be the cover organisation of the Molly Maguires. McParland's testimony helped to convict ten men for murder, although the trials were later branded a surrender of state sovereignty due to the level of private business involvement in the cases. Nevertheless, on the 21st of June 1877, the ten men were hanged, six in the prison at Pottsville and four at Mork Chunk in Carbon County. Although historians have since questioned the convictions, the executions consolidated the power of mine owners over their workers. 